what? We're having duck curry today, guys. And mom is going to be cooking this duck curry today. Her yummy special duck curry. And today she's decided to share this recipe with you guys. So we have our ingredients. We have a whole duck. We're going to be cooking a whole duck today. Which has already been roasted and cut up. And in this recipe, we're going to be using some onions, garlic, the usual stuff, scallions, celery, broadleaf thyme, curry powder, roasted ground jeera, garam masala, and the usual works. And of course, I'll be listing the ingredients in the description box below, so don't worry. So let's get started, guys. So we're going to be washing this duck with man. Wash it and put a little vinegar in Some vinegar, she yeah. said. Just a little vinegar. Okay, so you're going to clean it out first yes. and then the vinegar yes, after. Yes, after, yeah. So some duck curry and nice soft dal puri going to work nice today. Mom makes the softest dal puri also. So she's going to add some vinegar now. She's finished cleaning out all the pieces of duck. So as you can see, mom has removed some of the skin from the duck and she has left some of the skin on. She says one of the important things in getting a good tasting duck curry is to have some of the skin left on to have the fat from that to help cook the curry. Alright, so that's one tip for you guys here. So at Christmas time guys, along with your sponge cake and black cake, people like to have a nice duck curry and I'll pour it too, right? I'm pretty sure you do too. So she's gonna add the broadleaf time. Okay guys, so all she's pounding up here in this mortar is the garlic, pepper, celery and the broadleaf thyme. So as you can see she's using a lot of garlic, but she says using a lot of garlic gives you a better duck curry. Nice tasting duck curry. I always said the other one was bonje. You got a bonje the curry good. You got a bonje the curry good. Get it up with these. So here I am, I'm finishing off pounding the garlic from up here. So we can move ahead faster. So this is all the garlic and the celery and the pepper that we pounded. Okay guys, so mom is going to mix the curry paste right now and she's just going to mix it right into this garlic mixture that we pounded. So that's the jeera, garam masala and curry powder. Alright, so that's it. So whatever the onions left is just gonna be thrown in like that, mm. along with the scallions. All right, guys. So you see, all the time, Mom must be bringing all of this stuff here. The duck was draining, and it's well drained now. Most of the water has come out, as you can see here. All right. So our oil is hot. And mom is gonna start bunging the masala. So as usual this masala is gonna be bunged for about two minutes. Mm. 
Mmm, that's smelling good guys. So we're gonna start adding our duck now. So now you wanna mix this. Well, you wanna coat all the duck pieces with the curry paste mixture. He's gonna add salt to taste. So now she's gonna add her cinnamon stick, the piece of cinnamon stick. Right in there like that. Alright guys, so this is all mixed up nicely now, coated very nice with the curry paste. So we're gonna cover this now, let it cook, let it evaporate, lose some of the liquid. Alright guys, so we're gonna give our dark curry a check now. So as you can see it's evaporating. Give it a little turn. Alright guys, so let's give this curry another check. See how our duck is coming along. Whoa, look at that. It's looking yummy already, right? Mmm, that smells so good. So this is evaporating now guys. It's drying out a bit. So we're gonna let it go a little bit more. And then we're gonna add some water. Alright guys, so our duck curry should be dry down enough now for us to add the rest of water to cook it. So we're gonna give a check now, add some water. So most of the water has evaporated. And this is smelling so good guys. And imagine that I'll pour it here right now. So you're just going to add some water level to the amount of meat you have. Give us a good stir, add our scallions. Add the rest of the onions that was left. So now this water that we've added here, should cook this to finish. So we're going to cover this back now and let it cook. So our curry is coming along nice as you can see here guys. My mom is going to add some whole viri viri peppers in there. So once this um, has dried down some more, then you can taste and see if you need to adjust the salt if you need to add any more. But for now we can cover it and let it cook. Alright guys, so our dog curry should be done now, so let's check. Oh, look at that. So as you can see, most of the liquid is gone here. And this is enough liquid to leave it with. So remember guys, it's hot, it's really hot now, so it's going to look like a lot of liquid. But once this pools, it's going to become a lot less in there. So this here is perfect now. If you can taste right now and see if you need to add any more salt, and you can add that now. But other than that, this is your duck curry right here. This is mom's duck curry. And this is gonna be very, very yummy. I can assure you that. So you said, Emma, are we done? Yeah. Already, right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Now we need to have some duck curry, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's it for mom's duck curry. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please share this video also. Remember to click the notification bell so you get updates whenever we post new videos, you'll know.
Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.